Alrighty, so we're working on the brake setup here. We have the old Mustang one, which we measured our center bore, which is 72 mil. We have our new brake rotor on the lathe to open up the center bore. Uh, as you can see, this is how we're doing it. Uh, just have it clamped on the outside ring, which is centering it. And then we're gonna have to bring her down to 72, which is uh, quite big. It's actually gonna get real close to these uh, alignment holes for the, uh, the bolts to hold the rotor to the uh, the hub although they're not necessary but uh, yeah we will continue on alrighty so here we are we know this will work uh, because we had the 15 inch wheel over top of this uh, so we know this height is correct the bigger rotor from the Toyota Supra non-turbo mark 4 uh, it's looking like it's working fine now we do have a bit of a gap on the top side. I don't really want to bring the caliper up to compensate that, but we'll try it with the wheel on. But uh, it's hard to see in there, but the pad is just on the, the outer ridge there. So it's still making full contact onto the rotor. Uh, I mean, the rotor is tight to the, uh, the knuckle, but it's not touching and it should never deflect. If any of these deflect, it means I've crashed. And yeah, it's just a little bit of an offset hole, so we're going to put a piece of, I don't know what, maybe 3 8 because I think quarter's a little too thin just to have that uh, safety factor. And then we'll put a little spacer here, we'll bolt through, we'll weld the spacer on, and uh, bing bang boom, it'll be done. Might, just for the sake of it, put a 3 8 fastener through there, but that's for the old ABS uh, sensor. Or no, ABS sensor is there, I'm not too sure what that's for. But uh, yeah, either way, we're going to uh, to get it going. Yeah. All idea. right, so we made our little practice piece, our bracket. Uh, it's just out of one eighth uh, steel by one inch. Uh, we're probably gonna go with this uh, three eighths material I have, just some steel. Uh, I'm sure aluminum would work in this, but uh, the weight savings and just the risk of maybe things expanding at different rates and being bolted uh, just kind of going to avoid it. I'm sure it'd be fine. A lot of kits are, but, uh, I have that material, so it's a free cost to me in some senses. Um, yeah, obviously there's going to be a spacer in here. Uh, uh, right now it is resting on the back flange of the knuckle. So it has that height. Uh, here we are. The Mark IV Supra, uh, rotor. Pretty big. I think it's at 12 and a quarter. Uh, I, what I might do is when I do it, I might space this this side down just a tiny bit because we're just like maybe a 30 second above the uh, brake pad onto the uh, rotor. Not that it's the end of the world, but I mean, if we can get it so it's it's nice, we might as well. But yeah, that's that's on there. We get nice nice pot pad contact. I mean, I had to cut the dust shield off, uh, but we're clear here. So yeah. Just got to transfer this over and drop that side down just a tiny bit and uh yeah we'll be we'll be laughing and we're gonna have some really skookum brakes on this car it'll be like a mark IV supra non-turbo but with a way bigger caliper so bit of a heavy setup we'll, we'll definitely weigh it and the fact i got to run an inch and a quarter spacer isn't the greatest but uh these wheels require me to run a 5 8 wheel stud uh, i have some here yeah, these guys here, because they also require a 1 and 1 16th uh, nut, because all your aftermarket steel wheels, as we'll go up in here, are, uh, are lug-centric, so they do really want a, uh, a very close lug to the size of the, uh, the hole for the lug nut. Uh, so yeah, we're probably going to drill these guys out and then insert these in here. So we'll have an adapter from the RX-8 front, and on the back of the Nissan, we'll do the same thing because we have to run a, a one inch spacer on that to kick the wheel out. Uh, I don't have it on right now, but those wheels were too tucked in when I put them on. So everything's got to come out a little bit, uh, which gives us a lot of room. I mean, this doesn't have a spacer on it, I don't think, or maybe it does as a quarter inch spacer. And uh, yeah, we, we've got lots of room to come out. So yeah. So yeah, if you're ever looking to do your uh, 
run 15s on your RX-8, this is how you can do it with decent brakes. But yeah, smell you later. All right, so here's pretty much the final product. Uh, we welded our bar to our little uh, spacer plates. Uh, it's uh, some of the 5 5.8 uh, stock I had bought. I actually bought this for the brake caliper adapters for the uh, S12 to run the Freestar, but I ended up using aluminum because uh, I needed a half inch. And I'd say some offcuts. But um, anywho, yeah, it's in there. It lines up with that. So we're both on the wedge here and that. Same on this side. And they also wedge up into here onto the knuckle itself. So it's got that form of physical closidity to the knuckle that it can't wiggle at all or flex at all. And I mean, 3 8 uh, steel with the 5 8 added to it. I mean, you've got a lot of structure there. And there's also a very small gap in between the uh, the bolt mounting areas. So there's no real room for it to get any sort of mechanical flex. And the fact that the ears of the caliper actually mount onto the ears of the, uh, the knuckle itself mean we're just spacing it off. So we should be golden. But yeah, that's, that is it. So 94 Supra, non-turbo, 2000 plus, LX570, 2004 RX8, uh, manual six speed, although the auto isn't any different, but just what this is from. And yeah, a dust shield later, being cut off, you are, you are good to go to run 15s on your car. So yeah, this was a fun adventure. Uh, we gotta do it again, but we have our easy peasy template. For making another one, we have more 3 8 material. Uh, I just need to get more zip cuts because can't cut any more out of it. I mean, this one had to be cut on our bandsaw. And uh, yeah, tell me what you think. Um, if you want any more info, message down below and I'll try to get back to you. But yeah, I think this turned out pretty well for just guessing on shit from Rock Auto and looking on eBay pictures. So yeah, smell you later.